हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज पर्सनल ब्लॉक्स फ्रॉम एआईएसएस एमएस इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड डेटा साइंस टुडे वी टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग हियर ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग फीचर्स द स्लाइड आर द बेसिक कांसेप्ट ऑफ ग्रुप्स द फर्स्ट कांसेप्ट इज ग्रुप्स इज ऑब्जेक्ट object are the basic runtime entity in object oriented system they may represent a person place bank account uh, tables data uh, any item that the program has to be handled uh, that is the um, that is the um, in between um, is the class is defined the object is uh, object is created for the uh, this class 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 contain data and code to manipulate it, that data and the entire set of data and code of object can be made a user defined data type with the help of class uh, in this class contain the combination of a data member and member function in a one unit that is also called as a class the next slide uh, class contain Three complex uh, uh, data. Uh, first one is the class name. Class name is a is a user defined that, uh, uh, keyword uh, that can be used uh, uh, name as the class. Uh, that uh, inside the class uh, uh, there are two uh, two um, two members, data member and member function. In data member contain uh, variables variables of a class. and the member function contain the operations uh, behind the uh, behind the data members of the class the next one is a data encapsulation the wrapping of a data and function in a single unit is called as a encapsulation the data is not accessible to outside the world only those function which are wrapped in the in the can access it the function provide interface between object data and the program this insulation of data from direct access by the program is called as data hiding of and uh, information hiding in the uh, encapsulation means uh, to wrap uh, data and uh, function in a single unit uh, in a uh, is called as a encapsulation in a class uh, we can uh, uh, define encapsulations that is uh, in, in between two brackets and semicolon we can define a encapsulation then data abstraction uh, data um, abstraction refer to the act of representing essential features without including the background detail or expre expressions um, since since a class use a concept a data in section they they are known as a data abstract data type the next slide the next features of uh, yeah oops is a inheritance inheritance is the process by which object of one class acquire the property of object of another class is called as a inheritance in of uh, oops the concept of inheritance provide the idea of reusability of a code this means we can add additional features to the existing class without modifying it uh, there are many uh, there are many uh, types of inheritance that is the simple uh, single inheritance multiple inheritance multi level inheritance uh, hybrid inheritance and hierarchical inheritance next one is a polymorphism a polymorphism of greek terms means to ability to make a more than one form that is called as a polymorphism that is that is called as the polymorphism means uh, having a, um, uh, a one form uh, and the multiple form we can define the for example uh, the engineering engineering is the uh, is the uh, technical branch 
having a, having a contained a contain or a, having a sub branches is a computer science it information technology that is and uh, aids electronics electrical that is the example of a polymer prism the process of making an operation to exhibit different behavior in a different instance is known as operator overloading the next slide is applications of hoops uh, there are many applications of hoops the first one is the real time system uh, simulation and modeling object or, or oriented database uh, ai and expert system neural network and parallel programming decision support and office auto office uh, automation system uh, see that it is is the application of hoops thank you for watching this video